Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be doing a mouse unboxing. So guys, here it is. Alright guys, so this is the Pictech Gaming Mouse. So, this mouse is actually, it has five different uh, DPI settings, which is really nice. Um, on Amazon, it's sold for $14. I think the original price was like $20, $20, $20 something like that. So yeah, um, it comes with the CD, instructions manual, and of course the mouse. So, this mouse is actually really well built. I really like the quality. It has two programmable macro buttons on the side. I don't even know if they're called macros because I don't really know much about mice. So, yeah, it comes with this um, software disc, but it doesn't actually fit in any um, regular disc compartments. So if you don't have one of those lying around, you're actually going to have to get the software offline. So like I said, it has uh, lots of buttons that you can um, switch through to get different colors and different DPI settings. And overall, the sensitivity, um, the sensor in the bottom is really good. I actually really like it. And yeah, guys, so here's how you get the software. So go to their website, which is actually etpc.cn, uh, I think. Um, and once you've done that, actually translate it because it's all in a different language. And go to service and then download service. And once you go to download service, it, um, tons of different product info will come up. And wait for that to translate again. And go to T7 because T7 is the mouse that I have. So you're going to want to click download at T7. And once you download it, the software looks like this. You've got all your different buttons that you can program to different things. You can set from modes, which are just a button on the bottom of the mouse that switches modes. You have colors and DPI that you can change from any color on the rainbow. And you can pretty much do a lot of things with this mouse. That's why I really like it. So as, as you see there, change the DPI settings in each setting thing. Um, you got macros to set those up uh, again you can change how the lights blink or stay solid and yeah so this mouse in gaming is actually really good however um, don't if you're playing like an FPS don't have the sensitivity too high because that just gets obnoxious in general I like this mouse I tried switching some of the buttons the on the side the two buttons on the side and I, I switched them to uh, the top one is sh left shift which would be sprint and the other one is actually R which would be reload so those are really useful in game to use those buttons because then instead of reaching with your finger on the keyboard you can just have it right by your thumb on the mouse and so overall this mouse is really great I enjoy it a lot I'd recommend picking one up off of Amazon um, they're actually pretty cheap and for the price that they come I like them a lot so I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys